Hello and welcome to Adams Field here for the Cranberry League Championship game. That is Braintree and Canton set to take the field. Mike Walsh will bring you the coverage here on BCAM TV as we join in the top half of the second inning in a 0-0 game with Cahill on the mound for the White Sox. And the pitch as that one's cut on and missed. These two sides meeting each other earlier in the playoffs. Frantry getting the better of them. And now in the midst of a double elimination tournament, this one slapped out of play. Frantry would have to be beaten twice here today. The White Sox, the only team to remain undefeated during the course of this double elimination format. And the win here in Game 1 would win the Cranberry League title for the seventh straight year for the White Sox. that one is strike three. So that'll conclude the inning. Bottom half of the second inning in a 0-0 game. And Foley drives this one out towards right center field. This one's going to get down and that's going to be extra bases off the bat of Foley as he continues to be an extra base hitting machine here during this postseason run where he has hit well over five home runs during this course and a couple of moon shots and this one finding its way out into the gap in right center field to begin the inning as the White Sox in business with a leadoff double. Bring up uh, Rapoli now after the leadoff double. Pitch on the way. And that one off the plate. Foley again has earned honors of Rookie of the Year this season. This is one on the ground, a third, and a low throw dug out at first. Looks like that throw actually took the player off the bag, though, so it looks like Rapoli will reach here as the first two have now reached. Bringing up Sharkey. Sprintree sending four, five, six hitters up so far. In a scoreless game here in the bottom half of the second. And the pitch. And a strike. Adams Field here in Quincy. Site of many of the high school tournaments. A very deep field. Pitch on the way, and another strike down at the knee from the starter Prescott. Pitch on the way, and that just missed. Strike three is a throw down to first and not in time. So the strikeout for the first out of the inning. So again, the leadoff double by Foley. Rapoli reaching on a play that obviously took the first baseman off the bag. The throw definitely beat the runner, but French had the first two on, but now a strikeout for the first out here of the second. 
And it brings up Sorgi batting in the number seven spot, the Braintree catcher. It's really been a good fit here this season. And he's been swinging a good bat as of late. Ready, ready. And the pitch is upstairs. Time called here as the manager coming out talk with his pitcher who has now the first two on after the strikeout from Sharkey there's one out and an opportunity for the White Sox to strike first Pitch on the way to Sorgi is fouled off. Pitch on the way, and this one is also knocked back and out of play. The count filling up now. Runners were off on the 3 2. Just the one out, you don't have to send the runners on the 3 2. But for entry electing to do so, the last pitch. Pitch on the way. And he went around on the pitch and strikes out to back-to-back K's. And now it'll take something from Muir. First pitch down and away. Pitch, and this one knocked to the screen. And the pitch to Muir, and on the ground to deep short. Long throw, and across, in time to end the inning. The White Sox put two on, but cannot score here in the second, as we remain schoolless, heading to the third. Welcome back to Adam Field here in the top half of the third inning. 0-0 game here in the Cranberry League Championship game. Also bringing the coverage here on BCAM TV as the White Sox looking for their seventh straight Cranberry League title. White Sox had a great chance in the second after a leadoff double and then an infield hit. Had the first two on, but back to back strikeouts and then a ground out to short to end the inning and the threat in the process. 
Kale ready, and the pitch is low. Six, seven, eight in the order. Pitch is cut on and missed. One sharply hit on the ground to shortstop. And throw across in time. Ready? Wines and fires. And that one just missed. Not sure what that one missed. It says low. And going after a pitch upstairs with no contact this time. Another strikeout for Cahill. First pitch and there for a strike. Another good fastball, and Cahill continuing to dominate so far. And a swing and a miss, and a quick 1-2-3 inning with a pair of strikeouts for Cahill as we continue on in a scoreless game. Bottom half of the third inning. Nine, one, and two in the Brinkley order. And the first pitch is not foul off the bat of Allen. DHing here today. Start to this ball game. It's been a pitcher's duel. That's that one off the plate. Prescott remaining the starter. And this one makes contact with the hitter, and Branch will be on to lead off the inning. So it'll be at the top of the order now. Bringing up Katie and the pitch and a bunt attempt, but takes it back and takes the ball. Yeah. 
throw over and back safely. And this one tap foul hit the batter inside the box. Throw back over to first. And this one in the air. And the shortstop coming over and makes the catch for the first down. Brings up Plant, and this one sharply hit on the ground to second. Over to second for one, back to first, and they turn the double play on the very speedy base runner Plant. So the White Sox again get the leadoff man on, but cannot score, and we head to the fourth inning, still scoreless. Back here for the top half of the fourth inning. And the pitch is cut on and missed. Just inside. Two, three, four hitters do up in the inning. The pitch on the way is foul tipped. This one lifted in the air. Third baseman, fair over in foul ground and able to battle the sun and make the catch. Tough play, battling that sun, foul ground. Strike to Waxman. And another pop-up. Another one to third. As Fair battling the sun cannot make a catch. Second straight time now that the sun has factored into the play. That'll go as an error. That'll allow the man to reach. That was foul tipped and held on to for a strike. Some action going on in the bullpen for Canton. So the number one seed, Brantry White Sox, and the number three seed, Canton A's, in the Premier League Championship game. Scoreless right now. 
halfway through. Speed pitch and this one drilled back and out of play. So dealing with Levine. Leaves this one upstairs. Strikeouts ready for the first two innings for Cahill. This one yeah, off the end of the bat. Back off into the stands. ball out of play. And it's going to miss. So after all that, another strike up. First and two down, and the pitch is by the hitter. Bring up Doolin, who slaps this one to the screen. Down the pole now, 0-2. fires and gets it by him. And two more K's in the inning as the White Sox continue looking for that first run in the scoreless game. Bottom half of the fourth inning. Still awaiting the first run of this ball game. As that one's in their first strike. Three, four, and five in the Braintree order. Fair leading things off. He had an error in the field last half inning. And he dropped a pop up, but it's been a tough son to deal with for him. Now trying to use the bat. My Sox have had their opportunities in this game. Both yeah. sides with plenty of base runners. Right now, neither side able to drive him in. This one struck to hit the third, and it gets by the third baseman into the outfield for a leadoff single. Brings up Foley, who doubled his last time to right center field in the gap. down in the dirt. No advance for the base runner. Okay. 
starter Prescott remains in this game. As the pitch on the way is down and in. Check on over at first. Righty is ready and misses off the plate. Checking over at first. As that one drops in there for a strike. So the leadoff single by Fair, getting the inning started here in the bottom half of the fourth. And this one on the ground to third base. Long throw, it's low, and it cannot be dug out. So for the second time in the ball game, a low throw creates a base runner. Go down is an error. Might be the end of the outing now for the starter. Guess he's going to remain in there. Trying to offer some encouragement. Brings up Rapoli, who singled his last time. Check on over at second. Infield coming in at the corners. Expecting a potential bunt as we still await our first run. And squaring and taking it back for a ball. second and throw not in time on a close play. in this game for the White Sox who again have had the better chances in this game as that one is popped up and foul. Right-hander getting ready as Prescott trying to battle through a jam. Just off the plate. This one lifts it out towards the outfield. Out in right field and a great diving catch, but they say no, he didn't catch it. As the throw will be made in towards the outfield, or in towards the infield. And the runner will be out at second. 
So they're at the corners now. Check over at first. They thought they had him picked off, and they say no. <laughs> Trying to get the second out now of the inning. And the runner will take off now for second and take away that potential double play. out earlier. And this one hits him. <laughs> and now a meeting at the mound. This time the pitching change will occur. We will take a break in the action here in a 0-0 game, but Braintree with a great opportunity here with the bases loaded, and we'll be right back. Play resuming here in the bottom half of the fourth. The base is loaded, and a little bunt, down, or bunt half wing down the first baseline. As that's foul. Off the bat of Sorgi. Struck out his first time. Trying to get some help here from the bottom of the order. The White Sox look for the lead. Ready, ready, and that one cut on a miss. Fastball up and in. A spot to come in as a reliever. Inheriting the bases loaded, and just the one out. Ready, ready, and he got him to go after a pitch upstairs and strikes him out. So now two down. Take something here from Muir. As the A's trying to get out of an improbable situation. And this one sharply hit over to short, but caught. And the White Sox strand. The base is loaded here in a great spot. A hard hit ball by Muir is a line out to end the inning. We remain scoreless, heading to the fifth. Six, seven, eight in the order for the A's. Here in a 0-0 game after the White Sox left the bases loaded. Some great pitching and relief coming out of the bullpen to get out of that bases loaded jam. A strikeout and a lineout to get out of that threat. As Cahill back out to deliver. And a strike. Slap to the screen. And this one lifted towards the outfield and into center. So after getting out of the bases loaded jam, momentum. Shifting to the visitors. 
the lower seed and the visiting team here in this game as that'll be Pigeon driving that one to center for a base hit. Wrencher bringing the corner in at third, expecting a potential bunt here. As we still look for the first run. One try, no contact. As Kirkpatrick trying to lay it down. Take the strike. And the pitch, and cut on and missed, and he couldn't get the job done with the bunt, and now strikes out. The tough at bat there for the catcher. This is the kind of spots, though, you need to come through as an underdog in a game. Got to get the job done when you're called upon, especially when it's scoreless more than halfway through now. That one late on the swing. So they get it by Wadkowski. And a ground ball, middle of the infield, over to second for one, back to first, and they turn the double play. Both sides now have turn one. And fantastic defense in the inning as we head to the bottom half of the fifth, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Bottom of the fifth, 9-1-2 and two in the branch order as Allen slaps it out of play. He was hit by a pitch his first time. And the pitch, and another late swing, and a miss from Allen as he strikes out. <laughs> Top of the order now, third time through. And the pitch, first pitch swing is knocked out of play. Evens the count at 101 now on the pitch outside. This one lifted up in the air. And foul ground. Long run down the first baseline. And a fantastic catch in foul ground. So both sides making some nice plays as Waxman able to track that one down in foul territory. So two quick outs here in the fifth. Bring up Flint, who hit sharply into a double play his last time. Late swing and a miss. They 
that will continue. Sharply hit on the ground to the right side. Over from second to first and the final out as the White Sox go 1-2-3 here in the inning and we head to the sixth inning in a scoreless game. Top half of the sixth inning. The A's now batting and a swing and a miss from Cahill continues to be lights out here against the A's. Been phenomenal all season long. Earning co-pitcher of the year honors as the pitch in there for a strike. And that one in there for strike three. Another strikeout. Okay, he'll just working right through the order. We go through the order now for the third time. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Bring up Burbank. Pass ball upstairs. getting ready. Lines and fires. And this one lifted up. Tough play down the right field line and that one's going to find its way down. As the play is to second and the throw a little bit off the mark but the runner will stop at first. And a bloop single. Off strikeout, a bloop single. Just one on and one down for Bryant. Checking over at first. Righty is ready, and yeah, this one hit hard. Out towards center field, but playable. As Plant a few steps over, makes the catch. And the two down. Pretty well hit ball, but right there to make the play in center is Plant. Stands in there, reached on an error his first time. And another fly ball, first pitch swing. A lazy fly ball out towards right field. And the center fielder, Plant, cuts in front of Sharkey and makes the catch. And after a base hit with one out, nothing further. As we head to the bottom of the sixth inning, still awaiting the first run of the game. Three, four, and five in the branchy order is Fair with a swing and a miss here at the first pitch. Zero, zero as Fair stands in there singling this last time. And the pitch. And this one lifted up in the air. Foul ground, long run. And the first baseman cannot make the catch. So Waxman with a long look at that one, but it drops foul. Fair, Foley, and Rapoli. And another ground ball. This one knocked foul. Oh, yeah, let's go, 
Knocked out of play. Another pitch on the way, and this one gets by Fair as he strikes out. Brings up Foley, who reached on an error last time, is also doubled into the gap and right. First pitch, down to the knees and strike. Very dangerous hitter at the plate. Right back to the same spot and a little bit outside. Right back to the same spot, and again, it's outside. An opportunity for the White Sox to start off. With a base runner, if they can get him on. Rally doesn't take much to get going for this White Sox team, even after the strikeout by Fair to begin the inning. Ranger can get a rally going quick. And the pitch. And he walks him. Very close pitch, did not go his way. Not going to happen here for Foley. And this one is lifted off towards center field. Playable and caught. As for Foley down. They'll take something from Sharkey for the inning to continue. And the pitch. And this one will allow the runner to reach second. That one got far enough away. it out of play. his way now through the inning as the reliever trying to get past Sharkey. Hit by a pitch last time. Off the fan. And the pitch. And it's upstairs. And 
The inning continues. Georgie would bat next. So that one hit back and out of play. One allows the runner to reach. So Braintree has now walked twice in the inning. And in business with Sorgi now, standing in. Sorgi certainly do after striking out twice. First pitch is a strike. It's a matter of time before the White Sox bats will come through with a big hit. They've had plenty of base runners. And Sorgi this time leaves it up. Again, the A's would have to beat the White Sox here in this game and then afterwards, as Frenchy is still undefeated here in the postseason. Double elimination tournament as this one's off to the screen. White Sox, they win and they win the championship for the Premier League title. Two strikes on Sorgi. He's already fanned twice in this ball game. And the pitch. And this one lifted back and out of play. And we'll spoil it off. Just missed. That one gets away. And neither, actually, both base runners now will advance. So, a big spot here in the inning. The base hit would probably score both runners. Give Brantry a 2 0 lead heading to the seventh. But we'll see what happens. Fish. And this one out towards right center field. That's going to get down. And both runs will come home and score on the base hit by Sorgi, who comes home with a clutch hit. So Brantry. Almost six innings to finally get that first run. They get two of them here on the two-run double by Sorgi. And the White Sox now essentially three outs away from winning the Premier League title. Obviously, they could add to their total here in the inning, but they need three more outs from Cahill, most likely to win this game. So two-run double. All the runs in the game. Muir, who has grounded out and lined out in this game. White Sox would love an insurance run. Got two so far in the inning. Only runs of this game. And this one's down in the dirt. Play over its second long throw, and again, it cannot be dug out. The run coming all the way around, and he will score. Wow, that is a big moment in this game 
as the speed of the runner coming around is four from second on a ball that should have been made and that's really been the story here in this game. There have been three plays just like that that have not been picked at first, not necessarily saying it's the first baseman's fault, but those are plays in a game like this. You've got to make those plays and now it makes it 3 nothing. as the White Sox have taken command here in the sixth inning. Braintree with three runs as this one is going to be in foul ground. Picked up in foul ground as Allen breaks his bat. make it deep into center field. Let's thread that one off the bat as this one will be caught in the outfield to end the inning. For the White Sox, strike for three here in the frame. They take the commanding lead into the seventh, three nothing as the White Sox try and close it out. Top half of the seventh inning. The White Sox looking for the final three outs of the ball game. And the first pitch is inside. It'll be four, five, and six, two up here in the inning. For the A's who need at least three runs to extend this game. The White Sox trying to win the Cranberry League title for the seventh straight year. Just three outs away from doing so with a three nothing lead. All three runs scored in the bottom of the sixth. The big hit, the two run double by Sorgi. The infield hit and the throwing error by Muir to follow, allowing the third run to come home. As this one's lifted out of play. And the right hander ready and missed upstairs. So the A's will need at least two runners on to have a chance to tie this one up. The White Sox try and make this quick here in the seventh. As Cahill starts off in style with the strikeout, and he continues his dominance in this game here this season as well. Been one of the best pitchers here this season across the Cranberry League. And he strikes out Levine for the second time. That's a fun attempt down the third base line. The throw across the first, and there are two down. So with three runs needed, they try a bunt try. That was an easy play for the second out. And now the A's down to their final out of the season. Getting ready now is Cahill. And the pitch as this one is knocked out of play. Bring up Pigeon, who singled his last time to center. And the pitch. And that one just missed. Cahill gets ready. Winds and fires. And he strikes him out. And that 
will end the ball game as the White Sox win the Cranberry League Championship here with a 3-0 shutout as Cahill once again dazzles on the mound to a complete game shutout. The big hit from Sorgi, the two-run double, and the White Sox for the seventh straight year now, the Cranberry League champions. And this is really a no-doubter from the White Sox here this season. They went through the Cranberry League regular season 21-2. and had a little rough patch towards the end of the regular season with defense, but the offense really just ballooned in the postseason. The home runs from Foley, really the difference throughout the postseason. Had that one game with the Grand Slam and the Spruin Homer. Also had multiple games with home runs as well. And then the pitching, of course, the story here in this ball game is Braintree for the second time here in the postseason, beating Canton, who was the number three seed in the postseason. Braintree, the number one seed. Never beaten here in the Cranberry League playoffs. And the White Sox will win, and they will be presented the Cranberry League trophy, which we will see in a moment as we continue on here with the Cranberry League coverage here on BCAM TV. Braintree again with the 21-2 and two regular season, drawing the number one seed in the playoffs. Never lost, and they win in style. Again, the two-run hit from Sorgi in the bottom of the sixth, a big hit in this ball game. And it was Cahill who was the MVP of this game with a shutout complete game going all seven innings. And again, continued to make the hitters miss on big moments as now we will see the trophy presentation for the White Sox as the trophy will be handed on over. And Frank will be crowned Cranberry League champion as Cahill handed the trophy as the MVP of this game. And that will indeed conclude our coverage here this season. Thank you for watching here all year long. On behalf of our camera person here today, David Eric, I'm Mike Wassell. We'll see you next time.